Hi, this is Greg with Integration Insider, and today we're going to review the Lookup card in Workfront Fusion. The Lookup card is very useful for translating different types of data between two softwares, handling things like team routing, or even taking in a situation where you need to relate multiple inputs to fewer outputs. So let's jump into Fusion and we can review how that works. So first up is an example of how we map statuses in Workfront to statuses in Jira. So all you do is list out the different values that the status can be. These are those three letter unique identifying keys that you set up in Workfront. And then over on the right are the values that you want these to translate to that will be produced in your output field. Some of the features and nuts and bolts of this card are, if the value does not match any of these, then you can produce a catch-all value. Sometimes I use this to create an actual value in this case, this is a status that Jira will really accept, and it will put it into a column on my Jira board that I know means that something didn't work quite right. I need to look at Workfront and see what status one of my project managers put the task into and why it routed that way. This is a freeform text field, so you can make this whatever you want. Sometimes it makes more sense to put a message into yourself or use that for some sort of uh, continue with or stop routing. And I'll review that in another example. So this is one that we use to translate teams. Uh, in this case, the team ID, which uses the 32 character unique identifier. And I route it over to a manual text field. If it doesn't match either of these two teams, I want a note back to myself. And I want this routing to go through a continue if card. This continue if card will stop the flow and not let it fail if one of these two teams are not assigned to a task in Workfront. So as you can imagine, this is a very flexible way that you can control routing and also get some data for yourself for your own diagnostics. And then one more example is how you can infer information. Let's say that for whatever reason, a request from Workfront will always have the car model, but won't always tell you what the car manufacturer is. In this case, you could take that value and run it through a lookup table. So let's say you know that you're only going to work with these car models and just by doing some research, you know which manufacturer makes those cars. And then if the car model does not match one of these, you want to raise a red flag and have a value that says unlisted model. You can then take this output and if you run it through a list construction card and you can put that into the label section of an issue in JIRA. As you're probably aware, labels in JIRA can take any sort of text. So this is a really consistent way that you can quickly identify any anomalies, in this case, unlisted models that were sent over in requests. And that is it with the lookup card. So after watching this video, are there still some situations where you're trying to use this card that just aren't working out? Put those in the comments below and I'll reply back. I may even make another video with how to solve those in Fusion. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.